friends and welcome to another ASMR video. In today's video I'm going to be taking a quick look at a couple of Smash Hits uh, magazines. Uh, we've got them here. We've got two issues here. One is from uh, December 91 to January 92 and one is from June 96. In case you're wondering I got these two with um, a 90s selection box which I bought or thinted. I didn't know what I was getting, but I got, amongst other things, these two magazines. I also got a couple of other books, which I may look at uh, on another video. Um, so yeah, I didn't choose these, they were there. But I do remember buying Smash Hits a couple of times as a child. Uh, I bought it probably in about 93, 94, 95, those, type of, those kind of years when I was sort of 8, 9, 10, just getting to top of the pops music. Looking at these now, though, it does look a bit. It sounds like an obvious thing to say, but it, they look like they're for girls more. But we'll have a look at them and see. I have done a previous uh, video on Smash Hits uh, where it was very much female orientated, um, topless men all over the place. Uh, but you know, for those of you who can enjoy that, then maybe you might get lucky and there might be something these two issues but we'll take a look they're from different periods we've got 91 and then we've got 96 so 96 summer of 96 June 96 was a great time to be British uh, we had uh, Brit Pop at its, at its height Blur Oasis Pulp the European Championships in the football um, just a great time and for me being 11 years old yeah really good but let's start with 91 so, I'm just going to go through and say, for a start, I don't know who Marky and Donnie are. Are they at the Ross? Or if I completely misjudged that badly? Or are they two members of another group? I know that in 91, I think um, New Kids on the Block were quite big. So, I would assume maybe it's two members of that group. But then, if it is, then why are they just chosen two of them? I don't know. Actually, it's not Bross, because Bross was Luke, I think, and... So we'll go with New Kids on the Block, but I could be completely wrong on that. Luke, I want to say Luke Perry, was he on Beverly Hills 90210 or something? Danny Minogue, obviously Michael Jackson, Christian Slater, maybe. No idea who Nuno is, obviously in this Madonna. Um, you can win some Ace Adams Family stuff, this is when the Adams Family film was out, I guess. So as I say, we've got Christmas Day to January the 7th. So 91 into 92. So I was six years old at the time. So it got 60p there. And in five or four and a half years, it's gone up to 90p. So that's not too bad, actually. Right, let's take a look. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Oh, we've got lyrics here. He used, I remember this message of having lyrics in the middle as a pullout, but we got one straight away on page three, which is... Go 
to some more lyrics. Hammer. I should have sent MC Hammer as he changed his name, I don't know. Uh, Kate Bush. Rocket Man. Oh, come off it. That's a, that's a copy. I hate it when people do that. She's making money off someone else's song. I know he's obviously approved it, but I still don't like it. And to put lyrics on it as if it's her song. At least it says words of music from Elton John and Bernie Taupin. Fair enough. There is not much not my lyrics there, is there? I could probably recommend remember them myself. Got the new single from Wet Wet Wet, couldn't I go? I did like Wet Wet Wet. I want to say Marty Bellows. I've got to say, bloody gorgeous. That just sounds bad. He's a good looking man. He's a good looking man. I actually bought a wet, wet, wet CD the other day. Uh, no joke. Um, I was, I just got a new car about two or three months ago and it's got, you know, Android Auto, whatever. Great new technology. But before I get that working, it's also got a uh, hidden in the glove box, a CD player. And I thought, I fancy some music. I'm not so keen on the radio because I like listening, choosing to what I want to listen to. So I thought I'm going to buy a CD and I'm going to try it out in the car. What can I get? Just to see if the CD player works, really. Not that it was a deal breaker on the car, of course, but um, it would be nice to know it worked. So I went to my local charity shop. Always a good idea to go to charity shops and, you know, you pick up some right um, absolute gems in there sometimes. And I did. I picked up Wet Wet Wet's Greatest Hits. I went, it was about my third charity shop I went to, to be fair. A couple of the charity shops didn't have gems in at all. They were mostly just operatic music, classical music. Um, but I found White White Wet's album and I paid 50 pence for it. And, yeah, played it in the car. That was definitely one of the songs on it. Uh, Wishing I Was Lucky, Angel Eyes, the three of my favourites. That looks like a copy from the Beatles. So yeah, I've got a wet, wet, wet CD in my car. In fact, it's still in the CD player. So we've got a review of the year of uh, 1991. Danny Bonogue seems very popular. She's been on almost every page so far. Michael Jackson brought a fair ground for his backyard. Chesney Oaks was very famous for about two seconds. Well, more than that, actually, because when I was... Uh, so this, this is the video of the anecdotes. But when I was uh, 17 and I was first getting into nightclubs, my favourite club was one that some of you may remember. Uh, it was called Jumpin' Jacks. So we're talking 90, uh, sorry, 2002, 2003, 2004, those kind of years. I wasn't one of the pretentious nightclubs with, uh, you know, uh, R&B and dance music and that. Oh, I liked cheese and Jumpin' Jacks was the king of it. They had amazing songs, uh, all cheese you could think of. And Chesney Hawks was right at the centre of that. He was, uh, yeah, he was played every night pretty much. I am the one and only. To be fair, I don't know any other songs of his, so maybe it's magic, it's all right. But yeah, even 12 years, 13 years later, Justin Hawks was still massive in, uh, in Jumpin' Jacks. And actually, he was at Bubbins when I was there for a 90s weekender uh, last year. But he was on the final night on a Sunday, and I was bored and tired by then, so uh, I didn't get to see him. But there you go. Anyway, let's get back to the book. Phoenix, rest in peace. Got Marky Mark, New Kids. I do love um, looking at the 90s and 80s music channels. One of my nice uh, weekend treats is to have a, a few uh, rum and cokes. I may have mentioned this before. And uh, what and watch the music channels and a lot of these names appear actually in uh, in some of the some of the songs. You know, right said Fred. Uh, I've just realised. 
Right, I've just seen this. Michael Jackson became big pals with Macaulay Cooking. I believe it's called Macaulay Culkin. This is actually, if you're really interested in music at the time. And I've got to say, I love this music. Even almost everyone on this, I've heard of, I like their songs. Not like today's music. But I'm not going to get into that. What I am going to get into, though, is an advert for W. Smith. How cool is that? A Christmas advert for W. Smith. And you've got albums that they're promoting CD or cassette oh wow the Osmond boys I can't beat Donny Osmond etc can I? surely not not in the 90s uh, maybe these are the younger ones I don't know anyway Mostly men, you can see. Maybe a few. A couple of women. But mostly men. And for the tapes there, like I said, tapes. 20 stars from 1991. Gone out for the uh, Baby Rams for the Elise of the Days of Our Lives. AIDS concerns us all. This page has been donated by Smashes Magazine. Oh, Marky Mark. I've got Johnny Depp. I'm not. Hang on, it's Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg. If I just realised that. It looks a bit like him. No way, is that. That looks like him. How am I only just realising this? I think I saw him earlier as well. On something. Marky Mark. Oh, that doesn't look like Mark Wahlberg. So maybe it's not. Someone's going to crack me on this, perhaps, and I'm going to feel like an idiot. It does look like my whole birthday. Oh, that's who they know is. Extreme. They did more than words. Smash its nicest hair of 1991 award. Seal. Very, very nice. Danny Minogue again, of course, she's everywhere in this. I can't remember hardly any of her songs, so I don't know why she's so famous. <coughs> Keanu there, yeah, it's Luke Perry. Beverly Hills, I was right. Kylie 
So we've had Danny and Uncle Kylie as well. We've got some more lyrics. Oh no, we've got Madonna and then we've got lyrics of Erasure and, and what I've got to say. I, well, I know that one was a strange one to have. Letters page. Let's try and turn the page. What's it got? More. So Guns and Roses, copy, live and let die. Lots of copies going on here. Even people as good as Guns and Roses are doing it. Who is Fix Mick? Bob Mortimer. Bob Mortimer's a legend. See, that says Marky Mark. I'm, I'm still none the wiser. I don't know what the truth is there. Let's see if I've heard of any singles. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. They don't like this one, though. It's a kind of song that calls for buckets, two of them. The bargain one and the one marked sick. I actually like that. To Genesis, I can't dance as a good as a good song. Don't know the other ones. Also releases for like Shakespeare's Sister Stay. That was a hell of a song. Okay. So I've got some films. Bill and Ted. Definitely like that actually. Pro set. The cards the world collects. Oh look, they've got superstar cards. Wow. They've got a card set of singers. I never knew that. stuff and then inside the next issue the 92 horoscope uh, 1992 horoscopes wow so that was actually quite fun to look through it's already gone on 19 minutes so I might be a bit quicker with this one I just promised two issues, so I'm going to stick to it. So we got this is 96, so this will be more. I think this will be, how can I put it, less nostalgic for me. Um, I'd say probably less innocent as well, but we'll see. Uh, we've got Darren Day looking really different to what I remember Darren Day looking like. Oh, 
this one's not in very good condition. We'll go with it though, we'll go with it. So we got um, some pop stars playing football there, it looks like. Exam tips from um, <laughs> from some of the stars. Our morals and return of the Mac. Got some random, random things. So. in your card match those two so they must be a scratch card that must have been in the magazine but there you go I didn't, I didn't get that bit that's fine no more Mr. Nice Guy Darren Day no one ever really thought he was a nice guy I remember an interview with uh, FHM that he did probably would have been a decade later than this when I bought FHM. Yeah, about 90, about 2003, 2003, 2004, something like that. And they asked him uh, a question. He said, why does everyone think you are a... And it was a very, very, very rude word. And he replied with uh, F off with that question and laughed. So he had a bit of a sense of humour about him. I have two time, but I've always been faithful to Anna, who was notorious love cheat. She's in that and she's naked, although you can't see anything, but yeah, very nice. But I can't, I can't um, do that one on a video, it's not, not right really. Um, but it was quite a good magazine actually that I bought um, when I was probably about 14, 15. I um, don't know if any of you guys remember the Sky magazine, as in it's not Sky TV. But yeah, anyway, let's move on. about summer gigs again I'm not really into gigs too much oh look we've got Jamie Redknapp picture oh what a great picture of Jamie Redknapp look at that what a hunk <laughs> I'm not sure if he was with Louise at the time I suppose he might well have been there's Bridget Mariah Carey someone who I Again, things very, very pretty, but a bit of a diva. And then Mike Flowers, who 
did a stupid song, Wonderwall, I think he covered. We got uh, Jim in them again there. series part one Mikey the cynical one so here we go so this is Ash so I say Ash yeah oh there's Louise again I've got to say not looking quite so pretty in that picture Ah, oh, Bryce another classic letters pay Actually, I thought it said it was going to have a where do I see that song words eight page song word pull out? I can't see that. That must have been taken. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. So bits of age of your favourite uh, acts. A little bit of news about them. This is the, whether they like songs or not, Macarena, this is Buy It. Now, when I was, yeah, I've had this age, I guess it would have been obviously, um, my nan went on holiday to Spain and she came back and she was raving about this song that everyone was dancing to, which turned out to be the Macarena. It was before I came over to this country, so my nan was doing the Macarena before I was, which is uh, quite funny, really. And I've got a bit about Blur's fan club. Great advert for uh, Michael Jordan. And it's absolutely peak NBA. I, I was just getting into basketball at this time. I was more of a Miami Heat uh, fan because I liked their badge. I've got some singles here. Let's see if I've heard of any of these. Oh, there's Macarena. They only give it one star, though. Oops. Bumped into the uh, camera again. Mark Morrison, crazy. Don't really know that one. Mission Impossible theme, a bit boring. Um, today we call the train. That's a good song. Yeah, four stars. Fair enough. Five. Shakespeare's sister gets zero though, which is quite impressive. Oh no, this one gets five. Killing me softly, the Fugees. Yeah, that was a good song. Fair enough. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I recognise. No, not really. New CD from 199 cassette from 99p. Muppets Treasure Island, wow. Now and then, I don't remember that film. Or that one. Oh, look, that's not for big, for, uh, for big. It's not quite the same as Hulk Hogan holding it. I think they peaked too early on that one. Question. I actually quite like these sort of questions. Who is your worst enemy? Are you a good kisser? Have you ever stolen anything? <laughs> and you can... That's quite good. You can put the questions for the biscuit tin. Just 17, okay, if ever, if ever there was anything needed to prove that this is aimed at 
the females. We got just 17. Make this your sexiest summer ever. Oh boy, it's really think of your body. The hairy arms are really horny. <laughs> this isn't for everyone but I've quite enjoyed looking through these and uh, yeah hopefully you have too right well again as ever thank you so much for watching thank you for making it to the end and I will catch you on the next video cheers